Such a beautiful, beautiful area. And uh, take advantage of the day a little bit. I've been helping a family. The car that I continue to work on, that one. Don't buy a Chrysler 200. Um, but we're getting it fixed. And uh, I was kind of test driving. And I wanted to go over bumpy roads because part of the problem was a loose connection to the PCM. And I wanted to come over and check out This is really close to home. Just such a beautiful, beautiful area. You just have to take in the serenity and the peacefulness and the beauty of the nature in this area. I definitely apologize if the wind is going crazy. I'm trying to cup the mic as much as possible and get you the good views. But I know even pictures don't do this justice, but if pictures are worth a thousand words, the real deal is worth a million. You know, it's just, gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at the colors of everything blooming. Just the God's existence, just as it blooms and shows us that no matter what, even through those tough times, that like the plants and the trees and and everything nature goes through tough times through winter but in the spring they just bound back full and beautiful and full of energy and that's how we are in life when we sometimes we falter and we feel down we're going through some troubled times but hey that's okay because we're beautiful we're god's children we can be forgiven we can change and you know what? The beautiful thing is, is we're all perfect. We are just how God made us. Exactly how God made us. Isn't that great? I think it's awesome. Look at this beautiful, I don't wanna miss, this is an old, old bridge and obviously it's close. It's got some, that's why I parked it front, but, and you know, closed on both sides. It's, it's safe to walk on though. It's not a like I'm walking on something sketchy or not supposed to be on here because you can walk on it. You just can't drive on it. Uh, people used to drunk boot around some stuff, I guess. And, but uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, Eric said there was a hanging here a couple of years ago, three or four years ago. I don't remember what he said, but it was very sad. Kind of almost ruined my spot. I love this spot, but you know. Um, Satan's presence is everywhere, and, and we never know why somebody does something, and we can just only hope that in that last breath they ask for forgiveness and, and repented. But I haven't done a video in a couple of days, and it's been super busy. I've got a, some legal stuff I'm working on for guys with a deadline coming up that I had done about three or four times now. And, uh, you know, my uh, computers, me and technology is probably, it's probably user error, but for whatever reason, the files kept getting deleted, corrupted, so on and so forth. And I, I recovered them and they corrupted again. And now I can't, I couldn't recover them. So starting over, um, about a hundred and something, 150 hours worth of work probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, we'll overcome. Uh, I was blessed with the printer, so I'm able to print as I go. Now it's on the computer and it's printed. So if it's lost in the computer, oh well, it's printed. I got it. <laughs> but anyway, that's here nor there. But uh, I've just been trying to, to help people out. And see, look at the beautiful hawk. I don't know if you can see him to the trees here. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Oh, he's going off that way. Maybe he'll come back. He's off way up in the distance. But, yeah, I mean, oh, there's two of them up there. Gosh, that sucks. You can't see them. But, um, anyway, I had to, uh, I just try to try to help and get people going. And tomorrow is like super, super exciting. Um, me and my brother, Eric Swanson, from Prison in the Street, up in the Streets. Harvey from Harvey Talks Prison and Tashonka Whitco 
uh, Mark are meeting in uh, Missouri, Nevada, Missouri, and going to meet in person for the first time as we have developed a nice family. And uh, it's unfortunate that we can't get Adam uh, involved in this one, but maybe we'll have to work on uh, try to get old Adam over here to us. Uh, that's Aussie Jail Stories uh, TV. Check him out if you don't have him. Harvey at Harvey Talks Prison. That's Chanka Whitco. Check all those channels out. Eric Swanson. Check them all out. Uh, subscribe to him if you're not already. Uh, all awesome channels and just awesome people in general. But anyway, we will be doing a special video um, with the four of us together. We both have, or we all four have prison content on our channels as well as some other stuff mark has a little bit of variations as well as uh, myself is a lot quite a bit more variated as i have a ministry and uh, have everything about my ministry and just stuff i do kind of um vloggish i guess uh anything to do with the ministry and me and my progress um but however uh yeah it's gonna be awesome be sure to check that out um I appreciate you guys for subscribing, for watching me, for listening to me, uh, for praying with me, praying for me. Please pray for this car. But I finally got it fixed, and it's going to stay fixed. Nothing else is going to go on this thing, and he can get rid of this thing. Please. <laughs> Please pray for that. But uh, I've done a lot of work on that car. But that's okay. Um, this is what it is. We get her done. That's what the Lord calls us to do: is uh, help our brother when they're in need, help other people when they're in need. You know, and it, we get so many blessings out of that that direct and indirect. You know, and it, I don't mean like, oh, I help somebody so I'm gonna become a millionaire, get win the lottery. No, I don't mean financial blessings. I mean sometimes this phone I'm recording on right now. It's considered a financial blessing. Um, the, uh, well, I guess everything to the ministry would almost you know, be a financial blessing, but I turn it back. I don't draw no salary except for what little bills I have, and I try to keep them to a minimum. And uh, because it's God's money, it's the ministry's money, it's to help other people, it's not for me. This is uh, it's not why I do it. I do it to help other people not to get rich i'm uh i'd never be one of them rich preachers because i'm too uh generous if i could help somebody man and i see that they can use it and they're good people and and whatever they're not just like people using people whatever and if i can help man i try to help that uh that's what god calls us to do and i think it needs to be like that and i'm glad i'm not like i was anymore praise god because he's the reason i am who i am today Thank you again, everybody. This has been the Red Kev and my beautiful little spot. And I will holler at y'all later. That's Kev, and I'm out.